welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny. Today is my birthday, and this is Coffee Break with Danny, where um, it's called Coffee Break because all my videos are super long, like when you're just sitting and chatting with your best friend, having coffee, and you talk about the most important and also the most vapid things in life. That's what we cover here at Coffee Break with Danny. We talk about motherhood and lipstick. We talk about divorce and um, dogs. <laughs> it's random, it's fun, but guess what? We're all friends here. The safe zone filter is always engaged. And if you're seeing this video on the day that it goes live, December 5th, 35 years ago, an annoying angel was born. Okay, that was ridiculous. And that's, that's what we do around here is we're ridiculous. Today is my birthday, and today we are going to talk about my current favorites. I don't use the O word very often. In fact, I will drop an occasional F-bomb here or there. But when I drop the O-bomb, I'm obsessed. You know I'm in business. So today is December 5th or December whenever you're watching this video, and we are going to talk about my latest obsessions. In fact, I love them so much, I saved them for this specific video so that I could also celebrate my birthday week with you guys and give you guys a present. Okay, I'm so, I'm so bad at keeping secrets. This video is also a giveaway. Um, a few of you pandas are going to win every single one of these items that I mentioned. Now, if you're like Danny, um, I'm not part of the itty bitty titty committee and I don't want that bra, then we have some options. However, the whole point is these are my latest favorites. I love them so much. It's my birthday and I wanna celebrate with you. So I'm gonna gift these items to you. So if you wanna know all the details on how to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is keep on watching and or read the description box of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first item is the casual sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now. And I feel wrong calling it a sweatshirt because it's actually a very lightweight cotton. There is nothing warm about it. Cotton, 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 cotton. <laughs> That is a Coffee Break with Danny inside joke. So if you haven't been here for a while, you don't know why I just said cotton a few times. Um, it's not really a sweatshirt, so it's not thick. It has this gorgeous cowl neck sweater. It comes in many different colors. It was super affordable and I got it on Amazon. I think I ordered the size medium or maybe large. Can we talk about that lovely majestic creature behind me? I'm sorry, there is another majestic one over here and there is another one somewhere here, but Sassy LaRue only shows her face when she's ready to show her face. So let me show you guys. It is quite oversized. You know I'm almost six feet tall. My sleeve length is usually an issue, but this is pretty long on me. And if I move back, it's kind of tunic length. So you could wear this with leggings if you wanted to. I'm wearing it with jeans right now. And usually when I wear this shirt, I just do the French tuck where I just tuck the front corner in just a little bit. Gives it that sort of slouchy, lousy, I'm trying a little bit, but I'm not trying too hard kind of look. Like almost like if I'm a fashion blogger, but not really. So I definitely wanted to include this because the cold months are here and a lot of us don't get that cold. So we still want that winter energy, but we don't want to sweat through our clothes. This is one of those really comfortable wear at home pieces, casual pieces, layer with the jean jacket. I don't get too hot in and I wanted to share it with you guys. The second favorite of mine for this month is actually my watch band. I showed this to you guys um, in my most recent videos where I'm wearing sort of like that mauve burgundy everywhere makeup look. Um, it is one of my current, current latest favorites because I don't know, I feel like it reminds me of those old school Casio watches or even like an old school Rolex. So it gives that sort of masculine um, fashion statement, but it's adjustable to how big your wrist is. The size of my wrist is that of like a three-year-old little girl. So it's very hard for me to find a watch band that doesn't like over loop onto itself four different times. So when I can find an Apple watch band that is cool, trendy, affordable, cause it was only like $12 and adjustable, <laughs> sign me up. So. That's gonna be a part of my favorites 
It's also going to be a part of this giveaway. Moving on to, I know I mentioned bra at the beginning of this video, and um, I don't know if you're tired of hearing me talk about it yet, but it's not going to stop for a little bit. I recently had explant surgery um, to have my breast implants removed after 13 years. It was a painful surgery. Um, the recovery has been... Um, very challenging physically, but also very challenging emotionally. I've had to learn to love my body again and respect it. And I made a choice to respect my temple by removing my implant. And now I have to make that choice again to love what I see in the mirror. And having 32 double D chest size for 13 years and then going down to probably a B? 32B, I would even say maybe an A, um, has been has been a struggle because I don't recognize my body sometimes. And I realized that one of the reasons why I was having such a hard time loving what I saw in the mirror was because of what I was wearing as an undergarment. So I was just wearing one of those like little buckle closure ones in the front, cotton bras that would just keep riding. It would ride up and then it would ride up the back, ride up the front, ride up the back. And it was just so uncomfortable. At some points it was um, painful because of the incisions. Um, and it just, it didn't help me feel pretty. So one of my good friends, Madison from Madalee Blogs, um, she is a non-toxic um, blogger, lifestyle blogger. She also lives here in Dallas and she's always raving about a bra from Spanx. Now I have my reservations with Spanx because I've tried several of their products. Some of them I'm like, wow, I will give you my firstborn child, you're that amazing. And then others are like, why is this $80? You should be ashamed of yourselves. So it's one of those brands that has a really big discrepancy in the quality of their products. However, their faux leather leggings, sweet baby Jesus, they're amazing. <laughs> they compress in all the right places. <laughs> so anyway, let's come full circle here. The bra that I've been wearing and in love with is the Bralalooya from Spanx. You guys don't laugh because this bra looks like a training bra. <laughs> Listen, I learned the very hard way that if you don't laugh at life, it will laugh in your face. So I beat it to the punch. So this is my training bra. <laughs> Listen, even when I had big, bodacious, like bikini, bikini model boobs, I still never wore a bra that was this comfortable, okay? So I think this bra is probably a good option for those of you that are part of the itty bitty titty committee. Um, I don't imagine this provides any sort of support for those of you that were blessed with amazing boobs. Um, but it is so comfortable. I have to sleep in my bra and I have to sleep in it for a few months. So if I'm not gonna find something that feels like I'm not wearing anything, I don't want it on my body. So um, if you guys have explant surgery, um, you may or may not know this, but you get a curved incision under your breast on both sides. And then you have two incisions on the sides from where the drains come out to remove all the fluid from the swelling. So this entire area of my body right here is in an insane amount of pain. Um, and I have to wear garments that compress, but also are comfortable. So I bought these bras. I wasn't holding my breath because I was like, I don't even know what size my breasts are gonna end up. Parker went to pick these up for me at Nordstrom, you guys. These, it's so funny how a garment can make you like yourself again. You know what I mean? It was a very hard time for me after I had my implants removed where I would look in the mirror and I would be like, if I don't like myself, is my partner even gonna like me? You know, so when you can find something as vapid as a piece of clothing to make you feel better, it sort of reminds me of when I started playing with makeup in 2012 to find my pretty again. So makeup, made me love myself again. And now this like $60 bra is making me fall in love with my body all over again. <laughs> it's such an emotional topic, you guys, and I can't wait to share it with you, but until I'm fully recovered, what's the point in sharing, you know? I mean, it's, it's clear that I'm still sensitive about the topic and until I reach a point in my life where I'm like, boom, these are the final results, I don't wanna share quite yet. So 
Anyway, if you are looking for a comfortable bra, this only comes in neutral shades. Um, the Bralalluya from Spanx. Holy mackerel, it's gonna change your life. I'm wearing it right now and you can't even tell. It's perfectly seamless. You don't get any of the back rolls. Um, it's, it's your best friend. Did I really just spend like 12 minutes talking about a bra? Welcome to Coffee Break with Danny. <laughs> If you thought it was weird talking about a bra, we're gonna talk about a dish sponge. Okay, it's my birthday giveaway. I can give away what I think is useful and you guys, if you watched one of my lives on Instagram, we talked about um, the grossness of dish sponges and um, Parker loves to leave the dish sponge completely soaked in water, full of food, just sitting in the base of the sink, like just, just sitting there, just growing and brewing bacteria. And it was like this constant daily battle between us where I was like, there's a basket right there that drains, put the sponge in the basket. So then he would start to put it in the middle divider of the sinks, you know, where you have two sink compartments, he would put it in the middle. So the dirty water would like kind of drip down into the clean dishes too. Oh my gosh, you guys. Anyway, we were talking about that in a live. So many of you were like, dude, Peachy Clean's where it's at. It's a silicone dish sponge that doesn't hold on to bacteria. And if it decides to get filthy, you could throw it in the dishwasher. This is a three pack. It's empty because we've used it up, okay? So if you like to wash dishes, if you hate to wash dishes, if you fight with your significant other because they're gross with their dish sponge habits, y'all need to get this sponge. It smells like peach, but it doesn't actually smell like peach. Like you smell it, it smells like peach, but the scent doesn't come off of it. I don't know why it smells like peach, but it does. Anyway, I wanted to include this. I have been loving it. We've ordered it twice already. And thank you so much for those of you that recommended this because it saved our marriage. <laughs> Did you get married? No, I'm not married yet. I just thought that was a good joke, whatever. <laughs> Let's talk about skincare. I recently did a massive Sephora haul during their sale and I told you guys that I wanted a really good night cream. I don't mean to brag, but my fiance has noticed the changes in my skin thanks to this little moisturizer here. So I would say if you are 30 and older watching this video, you will really enjoy this moisturizer. If you're under 30, Congratulations, but <laughs> maybe you can benefit from this. This is the Ulla Henriksen Transform Plus Goodnight Glow Retin, Retin ALT Sleeping Cream. Okay, it's loaded with AHAs, which is alpha hydroxy acids. It's going to keep you glowing, youthful, amazing, and looking 35. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to throw this in this giveaway and also in my favorites because if someone as non-observant as my gorgeous, super handsome, delicious fiance, could you imagine what someone that is observant would notice? <laughs> You're welcome. All right, moving on to the reason you all subscribe to Coffee Break with Danny besides my intoxicating personality. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna need you to give me a pass just today because it's my birthday on the level of obnoxious that I'm being. It's just, it's just today. And how many times am I gonna say, it's my birthday, cause I'm engaged. Okay, the reason you all subscribe to this channel was because of makeup and makeup, you guys, has rerooted itself in my heart and I have been obsessed with the products that I'm gonna share with you right now. So the very first one is actually what's on my eyes. Flower Beauty Jungle Lights Palette. I'm gonna insert some swatches because I could talk about this until I'm metallic in the face and you're not gonna believe me. The eyeshadows in here are soft, creamy, and thick. I mean, you get a thick layer of metallic on your lid and they don't emphasize the texture on your eyelids. I know a lot of us, especially here at Coffee Break with Danny, are in the age demographic of like 40 to 65. I love that that's like one of my primary demographics because we can talk about real life stuff, we can talk about marriage, divorce, children, um, growing older, we can talk about skincare, we can talk about everything. Um, and it's just a place of knowledge, understanding, wisdom, and kindness. And when it comes down to metallic shadows, I feel like that you shouldn't wear them if you're over 40 because the texture shows on your lid is a common 
misconception. Just because the skin on your eyelid has gotten older or wiser doesn't mean that you're not allowed to rock the metallic trend. All you need to make sure that you do is use a product that isn't drying. These shadows are so creamy, they don't add dryness to your eyelid. So you can tell there's two places on my body where I have a lot of texture my eyelids and my lips, and this product does not emphasize that. So I would highly, highly recommend this palette. Another product that I recently raved about was this blush from Charlotte Tilbury. I said, all of you guys need to run to Sephora and get this $40 blush. This is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. The center part of the blush is more of like a highlight. The outside is the actual blush. I just kind of swirl around the entire pan and put it on my cheeks and it is the most beautiful, mauvey, rosy, perfect winter shade for a blush. You could wear it every day and you could wear it with any color of eyeshadow and it's gonna play nice. Speaking of recent favorites, this lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury is Pillow Talk. It's what's on my lips right now. It's what I'm unnecessarily applying twice. Just to show you guys. It is the most beautiful nudie pink gloss in amazing, gorgeous, sexy packaging. I don't know if you guys can see that. Does the packaging really matter? Yeah, it kind of does. Um, and I really like it because it's the perfect purse gloss. I have a purse gloss, it's Fenty Gloss Bomb, um, and I like it, but it has shimmer in it. So if you want a purse gloss that doesn't have the shimmer, they're, they're like literally passed out back there, aren't they? They're like, wow, you're putting us to sleep. Are you guys still awake? Like, are you still engaged? <laughs> so if you want a perfect everyday purse gloss without the shimmer, this is gonna be your go-to guy. It's so good. It is a dupe for NARS Chelsea Girls, which was my holy grail lip gloss that I can no longer enjoy since going cruelty-free. Kind of a sensitive subject. If you guys are a fan of these types of lashes, I'm talking drama, long, separated, just with like a splash of spider. The Lash Warrior from Flower Beauty. <laughs> oh, sweet Moses. This mascara, you guys, I was so sad since going cruelty free because I lost the privilege of using Rimmel's Lash Accelerator. Not to mention it was really hard to find at the drugstore now. It's like impossible to find. I thought they discontinued it for the longest time and so many of you sent it to me. Um, it has a silicone wand. Hold on, let me cover my face. Wait, wait, did I get it? Am I getting it? Am I even close? Am I even remotely close? You know, I upgraded my camera, but what I should really upgrade is my use of a camera. <laughs> so it has a silicone wand. It is a wet mascara. So if you guys don't like wet mascaras, this is not gonna be one for you. However, very similar to this one is Warrior Princess. That is a drier mascara. Very similar, but drier. This one, super wet, super delicious, super one of my favorites. And the last, favorite in this video is the Milk Makeup Highlighter in Lit. Okay, so this is what this highlighter looks like. Let me swatch it for you guys. That is a swatch of it. That is it on the back of my hand. Isn't that stunning? It's a really natural looking highlighter. And you guys know, there's nothing natural around this neck of the woods. Well, <laughs> Now there's more things natural, but I like my highlighters to be really dramatic. This one gives me the drama without the glitter, so I really love that about it. Plus, Milk Makeup is a cruelty-free brand. It's really easy to find at Sephora, and I've totally been loving it. All right, guys, so let's recap. If you're watching this video, the day that it went live, it is my birthday. We turned 35 today, you guys, and this video is my latest obsessions and also a giveaway. So if you're watching this in like 2020, I'm sorry, the giveaway is now over. I still recommend these products. But if you're watching it in real time and you are feeling lucky, a few of you pandas is going to get the option of taking home all of my current obsessions or something else. So make sure that you read the description box below of this video. I will also list and link all of these products in the description box below. But other than that, I think that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for celebrating my birthday week with me. I really hope that you guys have been enjoying it. 
I will leave links to all of my recent content down below as well. I really hope that you guys will subscribe and become a part of this panda crew. Y'all, we're really fun around here. You guys are missing out if you haven't subscribed. We are fun, we're entertaining, you learn stuff, you learn stuff you didn't care to learn. <laughs> but we keep it interesting and we keep it lighthearted and fun. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for celebrating and I love you. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. You know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.